Pancake everyone! There are only six years left until a massive event that can forever change the course of history. While we are immersed in our daily routines and busy with our own problems, a gigantic space monster the size of the Great Pyramid of Giza is approaching Earth, and this monster's name is Apophis. On Friday, April 3, 2029, the asteroid will come close to Earth at a dangerous distance. Upon impact, there will be an explosion equivalent to the power of 15,000 bombs dropped on Hiroshima. Nothing like this has happened since the extinction of the dinosaurs. In this episode, we will try to understand what awaits us. Does humanity have a chance to survive, or are we facing an inevitable end? Apophis is an asteroid named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and darkness. It was first discovered on June 19, 2004, at the Kitt Peak Observatory in Arizona. Immediately after its discovery, NASA named it one of the most dangerous asteroids for Earth. To give you an idea why, Apophis is not just a small rock lost in space. It is a massive stone block that could easily collide with our planet. The asteroid is 340 meters long, which is comparable to the length of three football fields or the height of the Eiffel Tower. It weighs 60 million tons. Soon after its discovery, researchers calculated Apophis' orbital trajectory and found that it would pass close to Earth in 2013, 2029, 2036, and 2068. However, despite these calculations, there is still an element of unpredictability. Unlike many other asteroids, Apophis constantly changes its orbit, making it much scarier than any other asteroid. According to scientist calculations, in the event of a collision with Earth, Apophis could release up to 1,717 megatons of energy, which is 30 times more powerful than the explosion of the most powerful thermonuclear bomb detonated in the USSR in 1961. The earthquake magnitude within a 10-kilometer radius of the impact site would reach 6.5, and the wind speed would be at least 790 meters per second. In short, the consequences would be monstrous. The impact of such a massive object on the Earth's surface would cause at least a continental-scale catastrophe, and the effects of such an impact would be felt by all the inhabitants of Earth to some extent, regardless of where the cosmic object landed. It's worth mentioning that unexpected encounters with celestial bodies have always influenced the course of history, starting from the formation of our planet. The very first significant collision was the collision with Thea. During the dawn of the formation of the solar system, it was a chaotic and harsh place. About 4.5 billion years ago, when the Earth was still in its infancy, it collided with the protoplanet Thea. Large asteroids rarely exceed a few tens of kilometers in diameter, but Thea was the size of Mars. The impact caused the Earth to liquefy down to its depths. As a result of the collision, the surface of our planet was fractured. The stable position of the first continental landmass was disrupted, and the continents began to drift. Thea itself was largely destroyed by the collision. For 100 years, the Earth was surrounded by a ring of debris. Under the unstoppable force of gravity, the remnants thrown into orbit began to merge, eventually forming the Moon. Equally significant was the asteroid bombardment. About 3.9 billion years ago, the inner bodies of the solar system experienced intense asteroid bombardment. It altered the Earth's landscape and the chemical composition of the atmosphere. When asteroids collided with the Earth, they heated up to several thousand degrees and triggered a series of chemical reactions that led to the formation of nitrogen-containing organic compounds, the synthesis of methane, formaldehyde, and long organic molecules, carbon compounds formed within the objects as they cooled. All of these substances could have served as the building blocks for the emergence of life. As you can see, in the early years of its existence, Earth experienced multiple collisions with giant ancient asteroids. However, while such intersections in the past influenced the planet's formation and its ability to sustain life, in the present, even the smallest collisions would lead to the destruction of life itself. The most striking example is the Chicxulub asteroid, a rock that caused the largest mass extinction in the Earth's biosphere. 65 million years ago, at the boundary between the Mesozoic and Cenozoic eras, a large cosmic body with a diameter of about 10 kilometers crashed near the present-day town of Chicxulub on the Yucatan Peninsula, forming a 180-kilometer diameter crater. The Chicxulub asteroid hit the water causing a series of 100-meter tsunamis extending from southeastern Mexico to Texas and Florida. 
the explosion flung asteroid fragments so far that they briefly left the atmosphere before falling back to Earth. The fallen incandescent pieces heated the Earth's surface and caused forest fires. This was followed by global earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. A cloud of overheated dust, ash and vapor covered the entire surface of the planet, and for the next 10 years the Earth was shielded from direct sunlight. Temperatures dropped, photosynthesis was interrupted, and the food chain was disrupted. This proved enough to destroy 95% of all life on Earth, including the dinosaurs. Another example is the Tunguska meteorite, which landed in the area near the Patkamina River in 1908. It caused an explosion with an estimated power of about 50 megatons, equivalent to the explosion of a hydrogen bomb. The subsequent shock wave was recorded by observatories around the world. Enormous trees within an area of 2,000 square kilometers from the presumed epicenter were uprooted, and not a single intact window was left in the houses of the residents. For several days following the event, the sky and clouds in the area were illuminated. Another terrifying cosmic invasion occurred in February 2013 in the vicinity of Chelyabinsk. A 17-meter meteorite with a mass of about 10,000 tons entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of approximately 18 kilometers per second. After 32 seconds, the meteorite disintegrated, resulting in an explosion at an altitude of 15 to 20 kilometers. The shockwave shattered windows in hundreds of buildings, and over 1,600 people were injured by the fragments. However, all of this pales in comparison to the consequences that await humanity if Apophis falls to Earth. To put it into perspective, the Tunguska meteorite had a size of 50 meters, while Apophis is seven times larger. If it were to collide with Earth, the consequences would be global. Naturally, a logical question arises. Can we protect ourselves from such a cosmic monster? There are several ways to prevent an asteroid impact. Astronomers categorize them into hard force and soft force, depending on the object that humanity is dealing with. If it is a well-known and well-tracked celestial body such as Apophis, then it is advisable to use a soft force approach. For example, a gravitational tractor can be employed. The process works as follows. A spacecraft approaches the asteroid, then control of its orbit is relinquished, and the tugboat starts to freely fall towards the object. Subsequently, the engine is restarted and the tugboat pulls the celestial body in the desired direction. However, the downside of this method is that it requires many years. In the event of a sudden threat detection, humanity would have a maximum of six months to respond. In such an emergency, the hard force approach can be applied. For instance, there are projects involving the bombardment of a large celestial body with a barrage of heavy spacecraft or rocket stages. Yet this method is also quite dubious, since the asteroid would break up into numerous pieces of varying sizes, and a significant portion of these fragments would head towards Earth. There is another option. Using special engines to redirect a small asteroid to the vicinity of Earth and make it orbit conveniently. Then the main object can be redirected towards this small asteroid as a projectile. Once again, implementing this method would require many years and a substantial amount of funding. Moreover, the likelihood of another asteroid being in close proximity is quite small. In summary, there are several theoretical ways to protect the planet from an asteroid, but no one knows how successful they would be in practice. Therefore, concerns about what awaits us if planetary defense fails to meet the challenge remain relevant. What will be the consequences of the impact? And will we be able to survive the catastrophe? After all, if Apophis falls to Earth, there will be an explosion equivalent to 15,000 bombs dropped on Hiroshima in terms of its power. There are several possible scenarios. If the asteroid hits a continent, it will create an impact crater with a depth of 400 to 500 meters and a diameter of up to 5 kilometers on its surface. The resulting shock wave will level the entire area, killing millions of people. It will destroy all residential buildings within a 50 kilometer radius of the epicenter. Buildings without the strength of a brick house will be destroyed within a range of 100 to 150 kilometers. Trees will be uprooted. Fortunately, the probability of Apophis hitting a populated area is small. This is because water covers about 75% of the Earth's surface. Therefore, statistically, it is most likely that the Apophis will land in the ocean. If Apophis falls in the center of the ocean, a crater with a depth of 3 km and a diameter of 8 km will form, from which tsunamis will spread in all directions. 
The storm will last for several hours, but that will be enough for serious consequences. The coast of California will be hit by 20-meter waves, which will bombard the continent for five days. If the object falls closer to the continent, the wave height near the shore will reach 500 meters, and a series of giant tsunamis caused by this could wipe out the entire west coast of North America. However, no matter where the asteroid lands on the planet, as a result of the impact, dust will rise several kilometers high and envelop the planet. The cloud of particles rising into the atmosphere will block sunlight, causing the temperature on the planet to drop universally, almost to Arctic levels, leading to a nuclear winter effect. Global cooling of the climate will lead to a reduction in agricultural production and severe famine. All of this will be accompanied by diseases and mass extinction of plants and animals. The world's population will decrease significantly. However, some scientists believe that this is not all. They believe that in addition to earthquakes, tsunamis and epidemics that Apophis will bring, a powerful asteroid impact can change the axis of Earth's rotation. This means that our planet will rotate around its axis not in 24 hours, but 3 hours less. Such a change could lead to new global catastrophes on the planet. The planet's axis will shift, and Earth will begin a shift in magnetic poles. During this time, the planet's magnetosphere will temporarily disappear, and it will be exposed to a stream of cosmic rays. The pole shift can also result in accidents on high-voltage power lines and disruptions in satellite operations. Of course, this is far from the worst of possible cataclysms. In space, there are phenomena that are much worse. For example, a black hole traveling through the Milky Way at a speed of 45 km per second, which seems to be heading towards us. It is a wandering monster seven times heavier than the Sun. If this black hole reaches the solar system, it will gradually engulf it along with everything inside. Or here is another cosmic horror, a supernova. From the explosion of a nearby dying star, everything in the kill zone would be destroyed by intense waves of radiation. However, catastrophic consequences on Earth would be inevitable even if the explosion occurred at a distance of 3 quadrillion kilometers from the planet. Cosmic rays would penetrate the troposphere, the overall radiation level would triple the existing levels. In the end, such an event would lead to the emergence of mutations and the formation of new life forms. In short, it wouldn't be pleasant. However, going back to Apophis, how real is the threat? Will the 340-meter asteroid really collide with our planet? After conducting observations using radar installations, a group of scientists ruled out the possibility of the meteorite colliding with Earth. They concluded that for at least the next 100 years there is no need to worry about this celestial body. According to calculations, on April 3, 2029, Apophis will only temporarily be at the point of closest approach to Earth. The distance between them at that moment will be between 31,000 and 38,000 kilometers. That's roughly one-tenth of the distance from Earth to the Moon. On that day, the asteroid will be visible to the naked eye from Asia, Africa, Australia and some European countries. Nevertheless, it is still worth considering various options for diverting Apophis from its course. For example, the so-called Yarkovsky effect should be taken into account, where solar radiation falls on one side of the asteroid. Due to the thermal radiation from the heated surface during the day and the cooled surface at night, a reactive impulse is created. It gives the body additional acceleration. This effect leads to Apophis deviating from its calculated trajectory by approximately 170 meters per year. As a result, the asteroid gradually approaches our planet. Therefore, the probability of its collision with Earth is slightly higher than previously assumed. Moreover, even the most experienced astronomers can make errors in their calculations, and planetary defense can also fail. Because although radar systems for detecting asteroids are developing, their range is still limited. As a result, we would only learn about the threat a few minutes before the asteroid's impact. So if scientists suddenly notice that a deadly asteroid is heading towards Earth, it is unlikely that the catastrophe can be prevented. Despite astronomers carefully recalculating the celestial bodies threatening Earth, we always need to be prepared for unpleasant surprises. Even if we manage to avoid a collision with Apophis in 2029, it doesn't mean that the asteroid will steer clear of us in the future. Moreover, how many other threats await us in the mysterious and boundless expanse of space? And how many other creeping dangers do we not even suspect? That's all from us. Wishing everyone a great mood and see you soon!